Hi everyone, I am Hans Amiga and today we will learn about momentum in 15 minutes. In this video, we will go through the content standard 2.5 which is momentum. There are two learning standards for this topic which are students will be able to explain momentum P as the product of mass M and velocity V, which best represented by P equal to MV. This learning standard requires the second level of taxonomy bloom, which is explained in understand level. The second learning standard is students will be able to apply the principle of conservation of momentum in collision and explosion, and this learning standard requires the third level of taxonomy bloom, which is applied. Okay, now what is momentum? Momentum is mass of an object multiplied by its velocity. Momentum P equal to mass M times velocity v. The SI unit for momentum is kg meter per second or newton second. Momentum is a vector quantity. Now, I will show you quickly how momentum is a vector quantity. We will first start with case 1. Option A of mass 2 kg moves from left to right at velocity of 10 m per second. By applying the formula of momentum just now, momentum A is equal to mv, and after substituting the values, we will get momentum A is equal to 20 kg m per second. Next, for case 2, option B of mass 2 kg move from right to left at velocity of 5 m per second. And as for the momentum of P, by applying the same formula, we will get negative 10 kg m per second. Wait, from both answer, can you see that the momentum of A is positive, but the momentum of P is negative. Why is it happening? Oh my! But don't worry, it is actually caused by the direction of motion of object. As you can see, object A moves from left to right, making the momentum to be positive, and object B moves from right to left, making the momentum to be negative. The negative symbols indicate the opposing motion of the objects. Now, we will start off with the principle of conservation of momentum. In a collision, the total momentum of the object before the collision is equal to the momentum after the collision, provided there is no external force acting on the colliding objects. Or, we can also write it as total momentum before collision is equal to the total momentum after collision. There are two types of collisions, which are 1. Elastic collisions and 2. Inelastic collisions. Going to the principle of conservation of momentum in collision, before collision, as you can see, there are two objects with two different initial velocity is moving in the same direction. After the collision, the first case that could happen is elastic collision. Elastic collisions means both objects A and B move separately after the collision. Since the total momentum before collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision, 
the formula will look like this. M A U A plus M B U B equal to M A V A plus M B V B. The next case that could happen is inelastic collisions, which means both object A and B will move together after the collisions in the same directions. And with the conservation of momentum's formula, MA UA plus MB UB equal to MA plus MB and V. And did you notice something? For V in elastic collision, there is only one velocity, which means the velocity of object A and object B will be the same after the collisions. Finish with elastic collisions and inelastic collisions, now we will move on with explosion. An explosion occurs when two objects which are initially at rest are made to move apart by a force. The principle of conservation of momentum in explosion is the total momentum before explosion is equal to the total momentum after the explosion. And note that the total momentum before explosion is zero. These are the examples of explosions. The first one is unit fired from a gun. And the second one is cannonball fired by cannon. I will go through with the first example, which is bullet fired from a gun. Since total momentum before explosion is equal to the total momentum after the explosion, the equation will look like this. MA UA plus MB UB equal to MA negative BA plus MB VB. The negative sign at VA indicates that the opposing motion of object A after the bullet is fired from a gun. The last equation will be MA VA equal to MB VB. Next, for the applications of conservation of momentum, I will show you about rockets. To propel the rocket forward, a jet of hot exhaust gas is expelled at a very high velocity. This gas with high velocity is obtained by the combustion of hydrogen in oxygen. The momentum of the gas is acquired by the rocket and enables the rocket to move forward. As you can see in the video, as the hot exhaust gas is expelled at very high velocity downward, the momentum of the gas is making the rocket to move upward. Other than that, there are other applications of conservation of momentum. In jet engine, the hot gases from the combustion are forced out of the exhaust at very high velocity. The hot gases creates a very large momentum which acquired by the aircraft and makes it move forward. And this is similar like a rocket just now. Then, the next example is in badminton games, the racket is moved at a high velocity to hit the shuttlecock with a large momentum. And last, in golf, the golf club is swung at a high speed to hit the ball. The large momentum of the golf club is transferred to the golf ball. Well, I guess that is all for momentum, isn't it? Mm, but wait, I still need to test your understanding on this topic. So, we will do a few questions about this topic. Going to the first question, if a 20 gram bullet has a momentum of 8 kg meter per second, calculate its velocity. So, 
it is looking for velocity. As for the solution, the first thing you have to do is to extract the information needed. The mass of the bullet, which is 20 gram, the momentum of the bullet, which is 8 kilogram meter per second. But wait, please make sure that your unit is right. So we need to change the unit of 20 gram into 0 0.020 kilogram. Next, we can apply the momentum formula, which is P equal to NV. By substituting the information needed into the formula, we will get 400 meter per second. Are you okay as for now? I hope you do. So, the next question is a softball of mass 0 0.220 kg that is moving with a speed of 7.6 meter per second collides head on and elastically with another ball of mass 0 0.350 kg initially at rest. Afterward, the incoming softball bounces back with speed of 3.3 meter per second. The question is, calculate the velocity of target ball after the collision. So, it's looking for V2. So, for the solution, first thing, you need to identify the type of collisions. As for this question too, we can see the words bounces backwards, which means elastic collision. Next, we have to extract the information needed. Mass 1 softball 0 0.220 kg, U1 softball 7.6 meter per second, V1 softball 3.3 meter per second, M2 ball 0 0.350 kg, U2 ball 0 meter per second. And by applying the elastic collision formula, M1 U1 plus M2 U2 equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2, we will get the answer like this. V2 is equal to 2.70 meter per second. Is everyone still okay? Can you answer this? If yes, then you are good to go. So, going to the next question. Question 3. A 2,000 kg truck is sitting at rest in neutral when it is rear-ended by a 1,000 kg car going 25 meter per second. After the collision, the two vehicles stick together. The question is, what is the final speed of the car-truck combination? So, it's looking for the Velocity V. As for the solution, the first one, we need to identify the type of collision. For this question, we give a clue which is stick together, which means inelastic collision. Next, as usual, we need to extract the information needed, which is M1 drop 2000 kg. U1 truck 0 meter per second, M2 car 1000 kg, and U2 car 25 meter per second. And the third thing to do is to apply the inelastic collision formula. M1 U1 plus M2 U2 equal to M1 plus M2 V. By substituting the information we did, then we will get the answer for velocity v, which is 8.33 meter per second. Well, that's all for the questions. And 
I will just want to make sure with you guys that we have checked to explain the momentum P as the product of mass M and velocity P, which is P equal to FV. And I also checked on apply the principle of the conservation of momentum in collision and explosion. Well, I guess that's it for today. Thank you for watching and thank you for staying until the end.